All righty. We are back, y'all. Moss locked up for a couple weeks, but he's out. <laughs> <laughs> we are back on Square Punks episode 41. Yep. It says me, Moss the Snow Bunny right now. Nithus, I don't know if he's coming, but he said he's going to try. He's making some pizza somewhere. I, I making bet. some pizza out of out of biscuit dough. <laughs> pizza. Biscuit dough pizza eating ass. Biscuit dough pizza. <laughs> Tomato paste and ketchup. Um, all right, y'all. Listen. What is going on in the 2K? Man, it's it's kind of slow right now. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll find something random yeah. about my brother. <laughs> You know what? I've taken this philosophy and I ain't going to take too much time because my brother... My, hey, look, man. The hell with me. Y'all got to give it up to Dirt, man. Dirt killed it on Xbox Nation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, on, man. Kicking up dust with them. And then he's immediately doing... Then he had to hear me and Snow Bunny babble. And then he going to do a podcast with us. And then his ass got to get up at the crack of dawn and go to work, man. So big ups to, 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 to Dirt, man. Um, yeah. But no, i just taking the approach like Instead of me going on Twitter and doing the Twitter fingers all day, I got a lot to say. So why not just pop a video about it? Maybe maybe y'all enjoy it. Maybe y'all won't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I liked the last video, man. I even listened to comments how I actually agree with you. For <laughs> <one>. <laughs> no, no, but you were right. You, I think you hit the nail right on the head, uh, like the last video. Well, Snow Bunny. Hi. What's going on with you? You, I, I know you've been busy in these streets. Yeah. Who you've been you been on podcast. Yeah. I mean... Do you have time for your good old buddies and scram punks anymore? Of course. I always have time, but you guys weren't here for two weeks. True. Moss had the, the 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 surprise thing at 4th of July. And then last week, weren't you having an issue where you had to go have something done at a doctor's office? Oh, yeah, that tooth is gone, man. I, I, I feel good. <laughs> and then, so I've been here. It's just been, that you guys have been busy. Yeah, yeah, we have been a little busy. Uh, so this isn't going to be a long podcast. Oh, and hi, chat. I think, it's oh, a... King, King Reaper. So we only got one person in the chat right now. It's a little slow right now. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. You understand yes. the slate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, appreciate, we appreciate everybody. You know, I, I just, I tweeted it out as much as I can because yeah. I don't know if I'm being cyber bullied, but apparently I'm not allowed to play place uh, tweets on Facebook anymore. I, I keep getting blocked and shit. So I really have yeah, Facebook. I've having issues with Facebook myself. Yeah, man. So man, I have I got like over a hundred notifications. I don't really go on my Facebook. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't you know the only thing that Facebook is good for buddy is the gamer groups right now. It's, it's a it's a dead platform and they're they're showing they're showing why they're so fucking dead. You know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, it's crazy. I just was like, I'm t after um the whole drama I had a couple years ago in the crafting community on Facebook, I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave Facebook for a while. <laughs> enough you, enough. Yeah. yeah, it was exactly like that. Yeah, so all uh, right, y'all, let's get to these topics because this past my bedtime. So if I start <laughs> slurring my words and start yeah. stuttering and shit, yeah. Uh, I, I actually put some. All right, yeah, let's get to it. Now, there's been a lot of uh, Gears 5 <laughs> talk. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, these last couple of uh, <laughs> days has been interesting. Now, Mars, you said on your video, man, mm -hmm. Gears been getting the business. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That trailer yesterday helped it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. Um, um, I'm, I, I'll say this, uh, you know, quick recap for anybody that's been under a rock, uh, you know, Gears 5 at E3, we, we all thought at the very least, um, that Gears 5 would be shown very well, you know, even if they didn't show like AAA exclusives, Xbox decided to punt showing anything ex extensive on Gears 5 on the stage and did some stuff on the showroom floor to everybody's dismay. Ever since then, it's been getting the business. It's been getting the negative business. And then you had this whole thing with the smoking and whether it was included or censored or whatever the case may be. You had that. Um, and then I think wisely, Xbox scrambled to the races because they've been getting their, their teeth kicked in for a while in the press and, and mm -hmm. on social media. I think wisely they 
got together, put their heads together, went with a marketing team, developed a, a, some, a commercial, threw it out there on social media and held their fingers, you know, crossed their fingers and said, please, please stop the bleeding. And guess what? It, it 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 slowed it down at least. You know what I'm saying? I like I like the I like the trailer. Was it the best trailer ever? No, but it was something out of the norm from what we've seen from Xbox, and it goes against what a lot of us have been complaining about: the fact that Xbox seemed like they were afraid of their own shadow and they didn't want to show anything hardcore and gritty. That at the very least was hardcore and gritty. And what I loved about that trailer at the very end is the charm with her. Blood, covered in blood, right. doing doing the Bruce Lee like, come come Bring get it. it. You know what I'm saying, yeah. hey bro, yeah. hey bro, I tell, hey yo, I almost punched my kids when I saw that shit, man. I loved it, man. <laughs> that was some beautiful shit. It was some beautiful bean footage, but no, yeah. um, it it was a good it was a good trailer. I think it did help stop the hemorrhaging a little bit. Um, but you know, more to come. We got to see more. We got to see that campaign. And you know what? I think you're right because. We all know when gears come out. Well, hell, even the the multiplayer beta that's like Friday. Yep. There's gonna be so many people playing that shit. Yeah. Uh, all you BBB dudes gonna be playing that shit. <laughs> y'all gonna be playing it, enjoying it, and then when it's over, with, y'all gonna bash it until it come out again. <laughs> uh, no, oh, you, you know. oh, you know our formula now. Yeah, huh? I look. I know. I know. <laughs> but the thing is, I think the I don't like the rollout. I didn't like the rollout. Um, I thought at E3 they didn't show shit. Like you said, your video they ain't show shit at E3. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like. The, I don't like the rollout. I should say, but mm. I believe the game is going to be fine. And but that trailer yesterday got me a little hype, man. Like yeah. I like yeah. Gears. You know, yeah. I don't. I play like Gears Four. I play more of the horror mode than actual, uh, you know, multiplayer. Yeah. But Gears, Gears, I think Gears is going to be a good game, man. It's going to be a good game. I know, like, Snowbunny, I know you don't give a shit about Gears. <laughs> I used to all, I used to be all over Gears on the 360 days. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to play it because I couldn't play Halo or any, or Call oh, of right. Duty. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is right. Yeah. So I was all over. Hey, FC, I was all over Gears during the 360 days. Oh yeah, and you know what? If you think about those, man, those days, like when you think about Xbox and how they haven't really had a big IP, man, I think about how Gears when that shit dropped, bro, and that was Mad 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 World commercial, man, that yeah. was like I can't wait to those. Hopefully, they get back to those days where a big game drop a, a new IP, like not a Halo, not a Gears, just a new IP drop, and like people just all hype for it and this, yeah. Not, Think gears is gonna be dope, man. But it is gears because that esports thing, uh, you know, it's, it's like a real thing. You know, they're doing yeah. their thing with that esports thing. Um, but the multiplayer is gonna be fire, man. And you know, Zaire, as he played four so damn much, he gonna be on that shit like crazy. I can't hear my fan, can you? A little mm -hmm. bit, but it ain't bad though. Okay, I just turned it down. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Um, I. Okay, so like I tell you guys, I'm the non-traditional legacy Xbox enthusiast. Say that fast five times. Yeah. What I mean by that is I love Xbox not for the Halo, Gears, and Forzas. I love Xbox because of the collaborations that they did with other talented developers outside of Xbox Studios to bring us games like Jade Empire, Mass Effect, Gears when it originally came out, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been disconnected from Gears since 2. After oh, really? 2, yeah, I really, you know, I don't, I'm not a multi, I'm not a, I'm not a PVP type of player. So, okay. you know, even oh, right, though right, right, okay. I'm excited from the trailer because, God damn it, my sugar diabetes was up to a thousand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, by, and, and they finally got it regulated by showing some hardcore shit. Um, I want I, I need to see that campaign. Oh, I, yeah. need, I need to see that campaign. I need to see what they're doing. Um, Rod is, Rod is a talented developer. Rod mm -hmm. is a talented developer and he has a hardcore pedigree. I just wish that Microsoft, you he, know, here's what I'm going. I'm let me not be negative. Let me let me let me re, re repackage this in a positive sense with all of the messaging, all of the coffee shop messaging that Microsoft has been doing. It is refreshing to see that the the carrot and stick approach, meaning the carrot of the the, the, the carrot of 
okay, y'all tried the coffee shop, so we had to beat y'all with the stick. But now you're going and you're and you're satisfying the hardcore. So now we can dangle the carrot in front of you. Now you're getting good press. Now that you've showed some hardcore shit, you're getting good press. We done seen the ponies out there, dirt right, talking mm -hmm. shit. You can't talk shit on that trailer, bro. Yeah, you, you can't can. do it. You and know you know what? what? I really haven't seen them. I mean, like maybe some guys tried to talk shit about that trailer, but you yeah. I mean, have you really seen guys talk oh, shit I've about seen that trailer? It. I've seen it, yeah. man. I've seen it in my comments. I've seen it on Twitter. You know, them, you know, people trying to alter the gears image and then put up Ghost of Tsushima and say Ghost of Tsushima looks better. Uh, big up to J Dubs. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they're trying, but you know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Microsoft, I get it. We're that, like I said in my video, we're that child that we may not be your favorite child. And everybody got their favorite child. We may not be your favorite child, but we're going to be that child that surprises you, right? right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might be that child that come out, you know, owning their own business and, and, and paying right. for your 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 uh, retirement. You know what I'm right, saying? So right. Show us some love, man. You're going to get nothing but positivity from it. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, Gears 5. I'm hyped for it, man. You know, and, and you know, I did a video earlier, just like you did, Moss. But mine is about Gears Five. Is Gears Five the beginning of Xbox having quality exclusives? Mm -hmm. That's a that's a valid question because we know how the last couple of years have been. Is it the beginning of them having quality exclusives? And I, of course, when I put that, you know, King Thrash is like so likes to fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't watch all of he my likes videos. To keep the juices flow. Yeah. But when he does watch my videos, he always got some shit to say. Like, <laughs> he's like, well, what do you mean quality? Hey, big up the King Thrash, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck big with up me, the I... King Thrash, man. I, I still uh, got to go in there and repent for my sins, man. Yeah, man. He was like, yeah, what do you mean quality, Dirk? Uh, what, <laughs> like, like, like an 85 is not quality. What do you mean it's not quality? What? <laughs> Every game is going to be a 92 Metacritic. Exactly, yeah. yeah, if, yeah. if it hits an 85 or above, I think that's a success for Microsoft. Yeah, an 80 and above is a success. <laughs> yeah, so what are you King Thrash and I'm not hanging around Thrash. I'm looking at the last three games that were released. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It I mean, fast. you got to look at the facts there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> she just came in here with the haymaker. Hey, Neethals, what's your thoughts on this? Hey, Neethals just hopping in here. Yeah, he's yes, he's hopping here all stealth. And he got some pizza dough on his keyboard. Yeah, and so they they said you making pizza out of biscuit dough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it was covered with ketchup. <laughs> That's uh, dirt. Dirt was talking shit. It wasn't me. You know me. I don't talk shit. <laughs> hey, what's oh, going I on, man? Yummy pizza. Up, I had to rearrange my PC real quick. That took a solid forty minutes, but Ooh, I think I'm good hey. now. Well, good. it's okay as long as it works out. Neethos, yeah. you, you join this mid-conversation about Gears 5, bro. Now, we all know Gears 5 has been getting a lot of shit from a lot of people. But what do you think about that trailer they showed yesterday, man? Oh, Look, like Moss said, that trailer quenched a lot of like you know, the hardcore. Like, are they taking gore out? Are they taking some blood out? Are they going to censor it at all? Because, you know, after the whole cigarette thing, now we're going to be like, oh, maybe they're going to tone down things. Not called Gears of War anymore. Now it's called Gears, right? That's a... That's the news we tried spreading, at least. But um, <laughs> clearly from that trailer, if anything, I think that's the goriest Gears I've ever uh, seen. Yeah, hey, bro. Man. When you see, like, Kate at the end, I'm like, oh, bro. shit. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm not lying. You missed it. I almost punched my son in the chest, man. I said, look at this shit, <laughs> hey, man. Look at this shit. He was like, damn, stop, stop, man. I like Gears. Like, hey, man, your son only seven and shit. You can't be punching your seven-year-old. Oh, there, go there goes Kate Thrash. Big up to my homie, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> hey, trash. Hey, trash. Always oh, talking man, shit. that's what's up, man. And yo, I saw that. I was like, yes. Now, again, we great on the curve, but again, to see Microsoft do this is good. It's not the end, but it's no. good. So, but I feel I mean, like I something like that should have been shown at E3 or yes, something. That's, that's, that's yes. where the biggest problem was, yes. Nathan. They didn't show that kind of shit at E3. They didn't show the campaign. They didn't show. I don't give a shit about Escape. Yeah, yeah no, like, I mean, I get that the gears mode or whatever, but you can you can promote that on Mixer like you were planning or whatever. Yeah. Show the real gameplay right there on stage. Like, that yeah. that trailer right there, that was fucking awesome. The only thing I'm worried about, and I think it's only stuck to one mode, is that whole power weapons thing they're doing. Like, if you kill a certain amount of people, you get, like, a power-up or whatever. Oh, yeah, I right. think that's only sticking to the arcade mode, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But it looks good, man. So we will find out how it plays Friday, right? 
Mm -hmm. yep. I know what you got. What you got to have. Game no plan, sounds. But... No signs of downgrade. Yeah, no, I don't exactly. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that, that that argument is dead in the water. And you know what? Uh, crap actually made a great point. Like they're letting you play in the beta if you have Game Pass. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool to me. Uh, that's uh, you know, like an extra incentive to being a member of Game Pass or Ultimate Game Pass. Hey, you can play mm -hmm. this beta of our big first party game if you're a member of the Game Pass. So I think that's cool, man. Um, Cause I don't well, know how it's you know, play Game Pass though, I don't want to cut you off, but uh, Game Pass also like 15 bucks a month. And with that, they're going to be offering the ultimate edition of Gears of War 5. So you get to play it like right. four days well, early. early. Right. My yeah. thought process, I don't know if you guys disagree with me or not, but in order to incentivize this to other people who like or do not have a PC, right? Who just have straight up an Xbox mm -hmm. and maybe they'll want to bundle in their life or whatever. What if their incentive is, you know, to offer the ultimate editions of their first party games? Like, what if you give uh, the new Forza the ultimate edition of that? Because with I things like, you know, EA Origin Premiere and all that, that's sweet, what yeah. they do. They, they, you know, that that might be what's going to happen, you know? Yeah, because I, I heard think that's what they have to do. I had heard rumors of that they were putting the ultimate editions on the on um, Xbox One. I don't remember where I heard it at, but oh, I did. You talking about yeah? Um, when you have Game Pass Ultimate, yeah, you get the game, you get the ultimate edition, and you get to play it early. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm saying like I, I only know that I have Gears Five so far. Yeah, do you think oh, they'll continue that? Do it with more titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably that's what I'm saying. Party shit. They might, yeah, because because like Forza, yeah. I think should do that. Halo should do that, in my opinion. Like I'm just thinking here. Well, like Monty Moss, you, you love that you play Plus thing. You keep that's talking what I was going to say. Is yeah, that what ahead, they're bro. doing with that too? Yeah, or but hey, man, you hit the nail right on the head. They when they when they made their announcement today, that's what they had to make a clarification at the website that originally broke that story, and they said, "No, nah, motherfucker, we're not just giving you new." games at some point in time we're giving them to you the day they released or before so mm -hmm. you know you're going and to get the ultimate edition of the game like that's what uh origin yeah Premier now that's a good question i don't want to lie and say but you know what i'm saying but that would put pressure on you play plus and again that's where that's where competition is great Absolutely. in that regard because if they force you play plus to do that that's going to be the shit you know what i mean so, yeah, because that's what the PC audience is used to. Like EA, they don't give you the regular edition; they give you the ultimate edition of these games. Like yeah. uh, the Legion of Dawn edition of uh, Anthem, <laughs> poor rest in peace, Anthem. You get that on <laughs> PC if yeah, you have the uh, Origin Premiere. Yeah, yeah. And Ubisoft is notorious. They, I love their games, but them motherfuckers is money hungry, man. Like yeah. to get the ultimate edition of Ghost Recon Wildlands that came out in 1972. Does you know on <laughs> on sale that motherfucker is still forty eight dollars, bro. Forty nine dollars. Did you hear they're about to drop a, a battle royale mode like Friday or something like that for uh, Ghost Recon Wild yeah. Wildlands? Yeah, I thought I read that. Yeah, somewhere. I mean, yeah, but then you, if you want to get the season one and season two in the game, forty eight. That's on sale. <laughs> it's forty eight dollars. Come this on, came out twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen. When that game come out? That was twenty sixteen, I think. Was Damn. it twenty sixteen or twenty? No, no, it was twenty seventeen. My bad, because the division was twenty sixteen. Yep. Yeah, the division was twenty sixteen. Yeah, but you gotta think about you gotta think about their tame compared to what Capcom just pulled for Switch owners. Uh, what they do? So you remember when um, Devil, uh, not Devil Maker, Resident Evil Four came out for the Switch, and they were selling it for thirty bucks on the um, digital. Uh huh. Well, they're just releasing a triple pack with Devil May Cry 4, 5, and 6. 4 is on the cartridge, 5 and 6 are digital, and they're selling it for 60 bucks. Ooh. Hey, Nintendo can get away with that shit, though. Well, we, no, that's yeah. Capcom. Capcom oh. is char they charge 30 bucks for just four. Mm -hmm. And now they're releasing all three in a multi pack for 60. Uh, who else did something? Somebody else did some bullshit like that where they had a whole bunch of their old games and they put it on there for 60. Um, I'm not sure. Was it, that, it, sounds or... like a, it sounds like a similar story to what uh Batman Arkham just did. I got you. Yep. Mm -hmm. that been yeah, I remember like they re-released basically a, a yeah. collection that was already there. I remember when they had those Marvel Alliance games. Yeah, they that was, was it. That, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was bad. Your boy yeah. Bobby <laughs> Kopik. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Your boy Bobby Co Slick. I'm gonna do a video on that punk ass motherfucker one day, man. He the most grimiest and dirt. Bobby Co took the um CEO of Activision. Oh, okay. He the worst dude. And yo, I was shocked that um again, I know this is a little bit off subject, but real quick. Um, IGN, you know, they some serious cappers and they wear knee pads whenever they talk about somebody, right? Including mm -hmm. Microsoft now. Mm -hmm. They were going in on Bobby Kotick um because they were talking about the worst 
um, executives in gaming, and they first they were talking about EA. They went in on him, man. I was like, wow, it was refreshing to finally see somebody put him to task. He, but he, he's. I, I got my issues with Phil, but Bobby's the worst, man. If Bobby were ever to get a position at Xbox, I, I'm going to break my shit like everybody mm -hmm. else did this weekend. <laughs> Activision, oh, I think Lord. it's always been worse than EA, well, at least for a while. But yeah, it's the fact that Activision I, gets those big hits. Like Exactly. Death, yeah. right, they Money talks. Money, Money talks. Money talks. Bullshit. Rocks. And I run. Yeah. All right. Uh, we don't have many um, topics tonight. So what's next? Uh, you getting that new PS uh, VR? Dirt? You know what? Oh yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Now listen, well, you know I have a PS VR. Um, no, I'm just. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, you know, I did enjoy uh, Blood Truth. That game, hey, I ain't gonna lie, that game was fire. Hey, was man. that fire? Hey, talk about that, man. I want, yeah. Oh, that Con game was fire. Convince me to get a PS VR. I, 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 now I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, uh, Blood Truth was damn good, man. That was no. If you have a VR, get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you go buy VR. Not, no, I don't care. I got <laughs> yeah, I got you. But yeah. yeah, yeah. But it really shows how good VR can be. Okay. But th but that game and what's the damn little game with the little robot shit? What's the VR game with the little robot? Man, I can't think of this shit. Anybody in the oh, chat? Astrobot. Astrobot. That okay. game was fire. So those two games. Are great VR experiences. Everything else I play, I could play two minutes. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, those two games are great VR experiences. But the new one, so apparently Sony is uh they have a new VR coming for the PS5. It's supposed to be wireless. Oh, that's dumb. And it costs 250 bucks. And that's now, the one I'm gonna wait on for next gen. Exactly. And, and you know what? As much as I think dog i mean like the vr kind of dog shit i probably would get that if i had to deal with no wires you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so yeah I, I might check that out man i think vr came a little too soon like okay i haven't really yeah. tried psvr like that but i hear a lot of complaints mostly because of the wires and sometimes people get you know nauseous or whatever so i think next gen's gonna fix all those issues and with the wireless option i'm all for that i know you can take technically your old vr dirt but I don't think you really want that thing, do you? I want the heavy ass shit on my head. Hey, you know what this reminds me of? Um, I know like neither's probably well born yet, but when the Dreamcast came out, they had online, but it yeah. just wasn't ready yet. It, it was a little bit too yeah. early. But at least yeah. but it but it but it but it but it but it, but the foundation. Huh? it whetted your appetite for it. It, it did because I remember uh plugging in my phone cord in the back of my Dreamcast, and that shit was stuttering like hell, but <laughs> the idea was so cool, but then yeah. a few years later, Xbox Live came out. Oh, yeah. okay, so maybe the VR, even though it worked fine, um, maybe it would still be too early, people still, I mean, even though it sold a few million, people yeah. still wasn't ready to introduce it. Yeah, and yeah, they lowered the price a little bit. Yeah, it, it might work next time. So, so you're 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 basically signing up for it as of right now. Now, what if they make? Are they going to make the PSVR the new one backwards compatible with the PSVR games that's out now? Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. everything will be backwards compatible. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you can even take your old VR and use it on the new system. That's that's yeah. that's good. I don't know who would want to do that, but that's good. If yeah, you that's why I told you. Like, even though he has it, I don't think he's taking it along with him. Give me that wireless boy, you know. If you're struggling for your EBT card to get refilled on the first, that's a good thing, man. You know, <laughs> trying to say, trying to say you a couple stamps, you know. Hey, man, blood truth was cold, bro. Hey, uh, look, well, let me say this. I'm gonna say this real quick. I, as somebody that originally dogged the whole concept of VR, I gotta give, and and I don't want, and I don't want to disparage your, you know, to anybody that that normally watches Dirk Griggity. This does not reflect. The thoughts of Dirk Griggity, right? <laughs> but I got you. Got to give kudos to to PlayStation for sticking with this for Facts. for yeah, helping pioneer this. You I know, agree. you got to do that because VR is a very difficult sale, and by them sticking to it, even though it wasn't as successful as they planned it to be, it helped break the plateau a little bit to where I think it's going to be a little bit more acceptable. Um, next generation than it would have been if like if they would have started off in the VR next generation Then you wouldn't have the technology the wireless, you know mm -hmm. and all the other stuff And I really think it, it, it can propel next generation So I'll, I'll give kudos to, to, to Sony and I'll say one last thing that there is this game called Stormlands that I'm very interested in It's only available for P, P, uh, damn, PR VR for PC But if 
to- Sony's tech is that upgraded next gen. I hope it comes to PlayStation at the very least. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. do you guys think the next PSVR is almost like the same thing that the Nintendo did with the Wii U and the Switch? Because the Wii U, what the Switch is, is what they wanted the Wii U to be. Now right, the right. new PSVR that's coming out, the new one, is where they wanted PSVR to be, but they had to go through a generation to get the kinks out. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, that happened to a lot of different things. Just like, that's why every console generation, they they have the original console and they always have a slim, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they can get all the kinks out, you know? Uh, save a little bit less money, you know, like make the parts smaller, things like that. So yeah, you're right about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's like about a generation, but uh, you know, like Ma said, you know, I gotta give Sony a shout out because we Xbox guys when PSVR came out, Dirt, you probably remember. I don't know if Moss remembers it, but we were talking so much shit Hell on yeah. the damn thing because it fell under projections. We were like, yeah. look, Sony has a history of abandoning shit. Look at the PS Vita. But no, we got to take an L on that because Sony stuck with it. Yeah. And delivering games for the VR. And honestly, Sony's double A games, I think you can classify a lot of the VR games as double A. They're honestly a lot better than, than Microsoft's double A's for the most part. You know, yeah. we got Ori and shit. And that's cool. But oh. PSVR, they got their own shit over there. I got to be honest. I'm interested in getting VR, but, you know, the wires hold me back. The price point yeah. wasn't, you know, quite there for me. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and get the wireless thing next generation. But, you know, cruise to Sony for that. And I will say, if it wasn't for Sony, VR would have been a bust. There's a reason they're the leader of VR. And if they weren't there, my God, this shit would have been really bad. Because yeah. every other VR thing is not selling. Right. Yeah, VR, they've been trying for the last 30 years to get VR off the ground. Yeah, I remember reading articles in computer magazines too, yeah. when I was in the 80s, when I was a little kid. So yeah, VR is taking a while to take off, Yeah, and I now see. it's finally hitting its stride. Hey, you know, yeah, buddy, hashtag I, virtual boy, remember that? Hell oh, oh, hey, listen, oh, listen, 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 hold on, wait, wait. Hey, I'm trying to go read the game history. Hey, hey, neither, you know, my old ass be having stories. I never forget going into Funko Land. They got that big red piece of shit sitting right there. <laughs> and I said, what is this? Well, you know me, I've never been a big Nintendo guy, but I'm like, what the hell is this shit? Mm-hmm. So the guy said, it's Virtual Boy. I said, Virtual Boy? I looked in that shit, you know, they had like a little, uh, you know, like a demo. That was the big night. If that's not, that's the biggest L Nintendo ever had. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> that damn virtual yeah, boy. It, it was. And now it's like a collector's item because so <laughs> few of them were sold. Oh, like, no. You can fit all Yo, the virtual boy red. games onto a shelf. That's how few there were. Oh, my God. <laughs> everything was red. Oh, it was so Oh, terrible. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Wait, but I, I got to ask you, what the hell is Funko Land? I thought you guys were just talking about Funko Pops this whole time. <laughs> oh, I used to work there. That was, was my was second time. You young It was gas. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It was damn, my dude. second job. The blasphemy. I'm not gonna lie. When you're talking about that bunny, I thought you meant like Funko Pops. It was oh. it was what GameStop was before it got sold to another company. Yeah. No, oh, GameStop, shit. GameStop bought out Funko oh, they bought them. And, okay, yeah. and Babbage's and yeah, all that. Really that's the reason games, those yeah, yeah GameStop that's the reason. Is evil as fuck. Yeah, they bought all that out. And in Canada, GameStop is known as E B games. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, they GameStop bought all of those small places out. But yeah, I, I it was look. fun working there. Hey, we used to have the little newspaper that showed you the prices of what yes? the new oh game was. Oh my god! No, but listen, I used to make relations and let you actually try out a used game in one of those little booths. It was a little yes, oh, and shit. and when we had downtime. The rule of the company was when we had downtime, we had to play video games because we were selling video That's games to dope. people. And they yet. said right. we That's had dope. to have we had to have the knowledge of what we were selling. So if we were in downtime where there was nobody in the store and we've done all of our work and everything, they let us pick whatever games we wanted out of the cases and we could go and play the games while we were waiting on people to come in. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was dope. I love um EB Games. Yeah, Babbage's was a shit, but EB Games Babbage. was my was was my favorite because um they specialized in the PC games and Tandy 1000 at the time I discovered EB Games or Electronic Boutique as it was. I'm old. Electronic shit. Boutique, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh the Tandy 1000 was 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 the uh Damn. The, the PC system of of all PC was the PC master race and they had and then back then if you guys remember localization was a big thing like you know um you know the Japanese games 
were like the pinnacle of all games and their game. Oh, they yeah. had like a slew of games that you didn't have here in the States. And you had two, only two choices. You either had to go and pay an astronomical amount of money to have them shipped here mm-hmm. or you go to electronic boutique. Yeah, I remember my first PC game I ever purchased was, and my mom bought it for me for my birthday because it had just came out on my birthday was American McGee's Alice. I remember that game. Yeah. And we went into Babbage's mm-hmm. and Alice. purchased it because that was the only place that had it. And my mom was like, is this what you want? I was like, yes, mom, I'm happy. Leave me alone. Bye. Those and I was good. locked Those- in my room. Those were good game stores. Like they really did shit for the yeah. consumer. It wasn't that when big, you, but they were perfect though. They were they when you traded shit in, you you got good value. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. people knew what they were talking about. Like GameStop is evil, man. Like if it, I say if instead of GameStop buying out EB and Funko Land, if it was like the other way around, I would tell you that the the, the brick and mortar stores would be in a lot better business because they would be a lot more accommodating to the consumer. GameStop was just always a money grab. I hated them since their inception. Well, I used man. to like GameStop. I used to. Uh, well, you worked at GameStop. That's why. Well, well part-time. You know, I, get there. <laughs> hey, I told you, like, my man, I was I was trying to get on the podcast, Rulio. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Wednesdays, he'll, he'll come on. But at one point, he was my manager. Like, he was my boy. He yeah, like, yeah. worked at GameStop. He's like, uh-huh. like, yeah. He's like, you ain't got to work, though. <laughs> 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 I'm all right. So, yeah, I mean, was- like my GameStop. I absolutely love my GameStop that I go that because I was like, it's so many of them in my local region area. This is the one I stop at on my way home. Mm. So I get off work, I pick up my games, and I come straight home. Yeah. But that one I absolutely love. Those guys are great. Like they just called me. Like they knew a game I've been looking for. When they finally popped up in their system, they were like, oh, call Jackie and let her know she could come in here. And So the day it went into the system, they were calling me to let me know that I could come in and pre-order the game. And I was like, yes. Yeah, I mean, I just, GameStop is real assembly belt to me. And it's not the people in GameStop. I just don't like their corporate structure. Like the EB games and the Babbage's, like you would find all the weird shit. All You know what I'm saying? So if you were a gaming enthusiast like me, and back in 2002, you were looking for a VGA cord. You know what I'm saying? You would find it in the Babbage's or an electronic yeah. boutique. You you can't find it in the GameStop right now. GameStop, is if it's not selling out of the wazoo, they're not going to have it. You know what I'm saying? They'll put it on clearance in a month and get it the fuck out of their store. Where these other gaming outlets, they appreciated that weird and off-the-wall shit. So they were satisfying all gamers. That's what I like about them that I don't like about GameStop. Yeah, I, it's just that I have to pre-order like like the really obscure games in my collection mm. that you wouldn't think anything about. I have to pre-order them or else they ain't coming over here yeah. at all. Yeah. 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 All right, y'all. All right, let's talk about this shit. Because Snowball, this is our expertise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Now, sorry, y'all. We weren't here last year. This is more of a last week story. But like we said, Moss was locked up. But there is a Today Story with it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah there's, a, there's, uh, there's a revision of the Switch being released in Japan that's going to give it um a longer battery life. Oh, shit. Oh. Perfect. Shit, go ahead. Uh. Yeah. So they are, um, I guess they're testing it out. But with the Switch Lite, they changed up a bunch of things with the Switch Lite. And it's going to have a better battery life itself. Uh, the Switch Lite... Uh, the main uh, huge, huge difference is it's all one body, so the Joy Cons don't come off. Right. And it's completely a handheld. You cannot connect it to a TV. No more docking, huh? No docking. There's no dock with it. So you can't even you can't even account? unplug the cord in to plug it to the TV itself. It's completely handheld. Do you hmm. consider that a switch? I just say they use the name to get on the hype train <laughs> yeah, because yeah. the audience that they are targeting with that are the people who still have a 3DS who has not mm-hmm. upgraded to a Switch. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And the no people deal. who and that and to the people who don't like playing on a TV, they just want to play a handheld system. Yeah. That's what they're marketing. <laughs> and they called it the Switch Lite because guess what? You could play most of the Switch games on it. 
if they changed the name to it to something different, they wouldn't have gotten that understanding that they could play the Switch games on this. Exactly. So you buy one game. I think I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Neither. I know you but what were you about to say, Neither? Oh, I'm just saying, like, Bunny's absolutely right, because a lot of people who are going to go buy the Switch, you know, you'd be surprised how many of them don't care about the TV functionality. Even I didn't give two shits about it until I finally tried it. I just wanted to play and be portable all the time and use that as my new 3DS. And I think the Switch Lite is going exactly for that market, because the $200 range, that's honestly what the new 3DS was. I think that was $150, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the market they're going for, and a lot of people are going to buy the Switch for Pokemon. This is the perfect model to put in the market right now. And yeah. it's coming out a month before Luigi's Mansion. It's That's coming it. out the same day as Dragon Quest XI. And it's coming out about a month before Pokemon. Yep, That's they even have a Pokemon like special crazy. edition already. Yeah, that's yeah. going feel like crazy, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's the market market they're targeting. They're trying to get those people who have not upgraded from their 3DS because of Pokemon to buying that buying it for the next Pokemon. You would not believe how many of my friends never upgraded to the new 3DS just because of their Pokemon, but then when the next Pokemon came out and was on the new 3DS, they upgraded and got the new one just for pokemon yeah and apparently there's a lot of drama with that right now because oh, uh game Lord. freak yeah they decided to not include a national i didn't know what the fuck this was so they decided okay. not to include a national pokedex but that essentially i think bunny will explain it better that means you can't really take your old pokemon there like you can only use the pokemon without already in the game so the national pokedex is a database that people uploaded all of their pokemon to from every game from the very mm -hmm. beginning. So they decided and then they were able to import those Pokemon into the new games. So they decided not to include the national Pokedex and people have lost their minds oh, I, over. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Lost their mind. I mean, it, it's been crazy. Well, yeah. And the thing is, is because there and people are like, well, you say you got to catch them all, but my thing is, here's how I look at it. Okay, you didn't include the national Pokedex. Okay, you want to play a new game, but you want to bring all your old shit to that new game. That's what I'm thinking, right? Okay, then and then I think they're trying to do it also because in the um, Pokemon National tournaments and World Championships and stuff. There has been a considerable amount of cheating going on with that in those tournaments and things. So I think they're trying to basically, because see, people who have the new games who didn't play the old games, they don't have access to all those old Pokemon. So I think with them not including the National Pokedex into the new games, what they're trying to do is even out the playing field again. Mm -hmm. And start it all over again. I think they're basically trying to kickstart it all over again. But then you have the Pokemon community who they scream they want change and they want this and they want that. But then the moment you change something, they lose their minds. And I kind of think Game Freak is getting tired of trying to make them happy. But everything they do, it's not good enough for them. Yeah. Because, I and mean, then... how... How can you ask for something new and a new change, but then when they do it, it's not to your specifications and you lose it? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the fanboy mentality in any group. Like, it could be Halo, it could be Pokemon. It's really in any, like, game that has a huge fan base like that. But also, there's now <coughs> theories going around that Game Freak might be doing this because they have their team split between making this new Pokemon, and I think they're making a new game, like, called Life or something. Or Town. Called Town. Town. Called Town. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're having their team split because apparently people think that Game Freak's really afraid of this new mobile trend because Pokemon Go was so successful. They're making Pokemon Masters now. They're fearing that maybe they are not as important in the Pokemon company. I think that's a load of heresy because, like, the mainline Pokemon game is what really drives the sale and keeps the, you know, the series fresh and so on. But, uh, honestly, in my opinion, I hope they add the National Pokedex later on as an update or something, but 
I don't really care. Every time I get a new Pokemon game, I just capture a new I team. I didn't even know there was a Pokedex until my friend told me about yeah, it. Exactly. I was like, no. Yeah, don't you go into the game, you just capture like a bunch of new Pokemon for your team. Like, yeah. Every team's different. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. I look at it like, okay, I want something new. Why I, I am I going to worry about my old one? a new gen. Like, almost all new Pokemon. Yeah, it's... But the, have you seen some of the stuff that... They, did you hear the rumor about Pokemon, though, Omni? They're saying that in... Because, you know, there's two versions of the game, right? Yeah. They're saying that each version, some of the trainers are going to be different and as as well as some of the Pokemon. Wait, what? So you know how you have all the trainers, right? Yeah. And you know in every game, when there's the two games, the only main difference between the two games be that there's some um, Pokemon in one that's not in the other. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're saying besides there's being some Pokemon that's in one but not the other one, they're also saying that some of the trainers are different in each game. Oh. Okay. I mean, I mean that's that's a new mechanic. I don't see anything wrong with that. No, but that's making it so that it might play differently if you depending yeah. on which game. I you hope get. they do that. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm getting both, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, again, I I don't have the bin. I'm yeah, but I don't want to put you guys in a coma. Let's go. I'm I'm a, I'm a hop in here and and try to 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 double dutch and get all fucked up. But uh, let me. Uh, okay, so. People are upset that the old Pokemon can't be imported into the new games, right? Correct. Are the old po- are you? I mean, you guys are saying that really shouldn't matter. So, does that mean that the old Pokemon wouldn't be effective in the new game, or are they like OP or something now, or you know? Uh, essentially, what people have been doing is they've been transferring their Pokemon since like the original Game Boy back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah. They were found ways to do that. Yeah. And with this new thing, if the Pokemon wasn't programmed to be in the game, you cannot use that Pokemon, period. So if you have, like, let's say Charmander, you know what the hell that is, you cannot use Charmander in the new Pokemon. Because oh. well, they didn't code for Charmander at all. Well, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, hopefully it's something they can work on. Can you imagine, now again, I'm, and I'm trying to relate this to, um, you know, Anybody that's like over the age of nine that plays poke that doesn't play Pokemon. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll shit, it's up your ass. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm just saying, look, if can you imagine if Mass Effect let you carry your car- your saves over from one to two to two to three, and let's just say there was a Mass Effect four within the same universe, and then with four they said, you know what, fuck it, no. You, you got to start yeah, fresh. Be, that'll be a disappointment. People <laughs> will be upset. So I kind of, yeah. I, I, if that's kind of similar, I can relate a little bit. The only difference is, is between each Pokemon game, they're in a whole different region. Yeah, exactly. So it's like in one re- in one game, let's let's just put it this way: in one game, let's say you're in Antarctica for that whole region. Mm-hmm. So all those Pokemon are completely different than the Pokemon you would find if you went to Africa. In the okay. next game. Okay. So they would have to code the game for every region from every past game. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest with you, Snow Bunny. I don't know if you are a fan of black and white, but I like black and white, at least the first two, because it was like a whole new region with like all new Pokemon. Exactly. Like that's the most new Pokemon I've ever had. I thought that was dope as hell. I mean, I get a lot of them were reimagining of Gen 1 Pokemon, but I thought that was cool. They did something that was a huge risk there. I like Black yeah. and White, actually. And that's what they're doing here with um, Sword and Shield. Like, I'm curious as I don't know what, because if you if anybody ever saw the trailer that they released for the game, at the very end, there's always two legendaries, one specific to each game. It's like the master Pokemon that you're trying to capture and get to at the end of the game. Well, the two usually are fighting against each other, but in the new game, they turn their backs toward each other like they're protecting each other, looking to something bigger. Oh, I mean, so, that's, that's good because I don't think I don't even like the legendaries in this game. I think they look weird. Yeah, but when you see them, because you know, one is a sword and one is a shield, one's holding a sword and one looks like a shield. At yeah. the end of the trailer, the two go back to back like they're trying to protect each other's back and they're looking to something else. Like they're about to fight something else that's bigger. Yeah. 
So that's like that's something that's totally new in the games. They're making they, I classify this it is like black and white where they're making a huge change in it and the people are not liking it until they probably play it. Mhm. I hope they add some more difficulty into the game because like Pokemon's become a really easy game and they even made it it's because today's audience well, does not have the patience for the older Pokemon. Mhm. I don't know what that that thing where they make the Pokemon look huge and you fight up against a huge one. Yeah, but that's the, mechanic. Like the raid mechanic that looks fun. But that's what they're doing with the Nintendo Switch Lite. They're basically prepping that system. And there's also pictures of a Pokemon edition that's coming out in Japan. They are prepping that game. They're releasing it in September. They're going to have something huge for Pokemon. <clears throat> Yeah, hey, I, that's <laughs> the greatest. Hey, but I just heard Spanish. I just heard Spanish for the last uh, fifteen. <laughs> that was like, um, 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 um yeah, I, I, no. Like I said, everybody's going crazy about Pokemon, but when Pokemon first came out, it was like twenty years ago. Yeah. I was in the club drinking twenty years ago. <laughs> I wasn't caring about Pokemon. I just started playing Pokemon maybe in the last. Uh, Six or seven years. I, I can relate. Like cartoon that. though, back in the day, I, I, I can relate to the um, the whole concern with the you can't port your thing. I mean, if you're if you're known that you could port something, then I, I can see why people are getting upset. Yeah, but but, but I get the logistics of it too. Thing because I would never use my old Pokemon. They'd be OP as hell. Oh, I mean okay. that, and the fact of it's when we say it's going to the extreme. There was a Twitter account created. Um, that has since been taken down and you can only find this in like different Reddit posts and stuff, but somebody was accusing the head developer of Pokemon of uh, sexual Jeez. rape and, and all this stuff. It was like some Me Too moment, but oh. they know it was fake because it was somebody who was part of the hashtag Bring back the national polka dance. Oh, who created oh, the hashtag on Twitter? They tried to ruin that man. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait. They tried to ruin that man' life because uh, they wanted him off the hey, head yo. of Pokemon. And, yeah, it. It's, did you say it's the Mewtwo moment, or you say Me Too? What, what did you the say? Me Too, Too. <laughs> <laughs> the Me Too moment. You oh, know, okay. like with Weinstein and all that stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. and they come to find out that it was a fake account or something. From what I've been reading up on it, there was a fake account made by somebody who suspected part of the hashtag "Bring Back the National Pokedex." Yeah, that, there's a whole hashtag. And, and you know what? In all <laughs> fairness, you got to give Game Freak some credit here. Or, yeah, because that's a lot of goddamn work to get those Pokemon in the game. There's over 800 of them motherfuckers, okay? Yeah. That's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> trying to ruin somebody. I mean, people so damn selfish trying to ruin that man's life because you want something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Take me over some Pokemon. Right. <laughs> ruin uh, my uh, reputation yeah. and everything. It's yeah, it's crazy. But like I said, that whole account has been taken down, and you can only find like uh, remnants of it on different re uh, posts and every of uh, on different like amino pages and stuff talking about it. So yeah. All right, y'all. We got right. a couple more topics before we well, get going. May maybe just one more. Maybe the, the huh? Uplay. I don't know if the Uplay Plus one. We, that might that oh, might get well, dirty. Actually, I had another one. You know. Oh, I you did. Oh, oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna say. That you play Plus one. I, I'm, I'm I, I might make you lose all your subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, yeah. I'm gonna wait on that I'm, one. I'm trying to hold on to the ones I got. <laughs> I your hatred of e of Ubisoft cannot be as bad as my Man, hatred of EA. Okay. EA, you know. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, like you be saw very kind of good this year. Yeah, they good, man. Know. I think I, they they've taken man. the mantle from Bethesda for me. Yeah, they good. I like their games. Like I'm yeah, playing Bethesda Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This year, and I'm gonna lie. Yeah, they, 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 Bethesda. Even though I still love them to death, secretly, you know what I'm saying, Paul. They had a couple good games though. Dave, well, yeah, oh yeah, they, I still. I mean, Rage too. I love that shit. But the they problem with in. Bethesda is early out the gate, they were just recycling shit. And just giving slapping a, a a four and a five and a six, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they 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 pay for it with with seventy six. Even though I like seventy six, they pay for it with seventy six. Yeah. Um, Fallout four, I didn't really care for that. And 
you Ubisoft, I think of the third parties has been the most innovative. So I, I give kudos yeah. to them. Hey, hey listen, know, speaking I'm, of Ubisoft, I just want to give them some credit real quick because of Cali Rex. Um, the beginning of the generation, Ubisoft or Ubisoft, that's how I prefer to say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah they were a meme of downgrading games because of watchdogs and shit, and you know yeah. how Assassin's yeah, Creed Unity came out yeah. just awful. Like just yeah. awful. That was an awful launch. But uh, they really <laughs> rebound, honestly. Yeah, they yep. did. and I'm gonna be honest, Unity was awful launch, but overall the game was good. Like once they fixed the, the bugs, but look, I am playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now. Damn, yeah, bro. that game is dope, but that yeah. game is long as shit. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that, which setting is that one? The that's uh, the Greece. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now I finished Odyssey, right? And I noticed, I said, "Damn, this seems longer than." I, uh, I'm sorry, not Odyssey. It was uh, Origins. Origins. And I was, yeah. I was like, "Damn, this shit seems longer than Origins." Then I looked at my history. I finished Origins in 44 hours. Okay. I'm at 50 hours in Odyssey, yeah. and I ain't nowhere near the end. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? I, I couldn't put in that time in Origins because it was so repetitive. Like, I play yeah. a little bit of Odyssey, and I can already see how much better it is. It is better, but it's similar, though. Like, the story, I like the story better. Yeah. I like the setting a little better in Odyssey, but it's similar. But they're good. They, it's a beautiful game, man. Yeah, like, they took out the, the repetitive because, like, Origins, it literally was you go into this camp, you rescue these people, done yeah. deal, and you do it again. <laughs> It's it's a little bit added, honestly, but honestly, yeah. the story is pretty good. But I'm like, damn, when is this shit in? Like, The Witcher, that was one. Like, it took me two years to beat The Witcher. I was I was playing it. And I stopped playing the shit for like a whole year. Then I played it again to finish it. Days gone. It's like it took forever to finish. And I have like four playthroughs of The Witcher. I just I always start it and then I just abandon that shit and start over. Oh my god! Oh, was, hey, oh, yeah, I, I, I had to, I had to beat Witcher one. with my son, man. I had to play it with my son, and we 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 had to do it like how we used to do it back in the eighties. You know, how you play a game with with a group of friends and shit, and y'all beat it. That, that, Tag that, team it. Yeah, right, exactly. right, yeah, yeah. I remember doing those days. Yeah, uh, I've been thinking about getting The Witcher three for Switch and uh, Assassin's the Witcher's Creed. A great game. I was debate. I'm debating about it, but right now I got so many games between now and yeah, December to get. So I'm those are like, two longest games this generation. You spotty. <laughs> but uh, speaking of long games and maybe RPGs, hey Moss, I don't know what your thoughts are, but like I see Kyle Rex said, Fallout Four was good. You know what? I wasn't the biggest fan of Fallout Four, I and mean, no. I think honestly, it was the oh, power armor thing. Man. I did not like that they did that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Let me say this. You know, I'm a Bethesda fanboy. I've had to. I, I've had to. I have to repent for my sins. Uh, look, <laughs> you were awakened. Yeah, Fallout Four. Look, I I wouldn't say this out in public, but I'm done with all the capping. Fallout Four was trash. Okay, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Fallout Four was trash, and here's why it was trash. For a next generation game, all it was was Fallout Three with Minecraft elements. That's all it was, and they and, and, and they made us pay sixty dollars for it. At least Fallout 76 has a new mechanic, which is co-op. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't have dialogue. Yeah, that, that's what the game needed. You know what I mean? So, like, for, look, we got out. I, I'm upset with Bethesda as far as Fallout was concerned this generation. It should have been a little bit more innovative. I wish that what they would have done is they would have held back a little bit on Fallout 4, waited until they added the co-op elements from Fallout 76 and then combined them together. That would have been dope. But what, it, what people don't understand is that there's a lot of uh, Fallout stands out there that demand that Fallout has to be dropped every three years, and that and, and Bethesda just handled handled the past sloppily. But I'm with Neethels, man. I did. I'm a Fallout fanboy to the umph degree. Okay, Fallout Four with the power armor, and they did the same thing in '76. They did the same thing in '76, Neethels, yeah. where it's it's just it, it's not balanced right, man. So you know. Let Bethesda, Bethesda's taking a like, long okay, break. Okay, you know Fallout the opening of the game, right? Like you're in the power armor, you're fighting yeah. that big ass lizard thing. Bro, that did not feel like Fallout. Like that felt it like maybe did, I'm bro. at the end of the game, bro, but to they, begin they like that, that up. was all wrong. They fucked it up in four. They fucked it up in 76. That's why I stopped playing 76. I stopped playing 76 on Xbox. And then, you know, just for shits and giggles, I bought me a Vita because you could get them dirt cheap. I bought me a Vita and I started doing remote play through the crib on Vita. Because my wife was forcing me to spend time with her. Uh, but that's another story. That's another part. <laughs> so I and I started a new gameplay. And then when I got to the point to where I got to the power armor, again, I stopped playing it again, man. <laughs> like <laughs> Fallout. Bethesda got to do better with the next Fallout. But Fallout 4, man, yeah. look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. It's borderline trash. Go ahead. 
Oh shit! Hey, but like well, for me, like Fallout is a very survival as game. That's what got me intrigued into the game. Yeah, I like Fallout facts. way more than the Elder Scrolls facts. because it's all about survival. You're in the wasteland. You don't got shit. You got a shitty hunter rifle, right? Yep. A hunting rifle. That's what I liked about Fallout. You got to sneak everywhere. You're terrified of the fucking world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. When you yep. get to level 25, you have that Wolverine fucking thing come at you. A Wolverine bear. Yeah, yeah that, that world is terrifying. It's hard to survive. But exactly. with the power armor, it takes away all that immersion. It takes away that immersion. And then the balancing of it. It's it's just the implementation of it. It's hard to explain, and that's you yeah. know that's a whole because other. Power thing. armor was always in the games, but it wasn't like that. Like now yeah. you're like in a pseudo Iron Man. Yeah, like exactly. The yeah, cave. they, they try to make it to where you're. I kind of get it, Nethals. And yeah. a Fallout seventy six. That's a games as a service, and yeah, you may spend longer time in it, but still the balancing is a little off with it there. But in a Fallout four that isn't a games as a service, it, it's not fit well. You're right. Like look, look at like Fallout three. You had to earn that power armor, yes. doing do the brother yes. or whatever, right? Yeah. And then like even when you got it, it was just wearing you know really good armor. It wasn't making you into a goddamn mech. Yeah, like, exactly. that's what I really enjoyed about that, and that's why I love Metro so much because it reminds me of some of those elements of survival. The I love that survival element. The sense of urgency is fundamental in Fallout games. Journey is key too, but the sense of urgency, something out of anywhere could come and fuck you up. <laughs> you That's know what I'm saying? I love the world. Like, man, exactly. I'm literally walking through this world, hunched down, sneaking throughout the whole fucking thing. Yeah. And and they they they, they messed that up in four. And then in Fallout 76, again, I get why you would want to have like an OP armor. But the balance is still bad too. So hopefully, with them taking a break, them building a new engine, them dropping this Star Point game, wherever the fuck it is, and then Elder Scrolls Six. Hopefully, the next Fallout will will be that will be that hit. You know, we'll see. Are you um, Moss and uh, Anitos, Are you guys excited for the Outer Worlds? Because you know, oh yeah, yeah, similar yeah, kind of game, amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh shit! I love, I love, I love uh, Obsidian. I love their top down games. I. <sighs> Look, this is not the most popular commercial opinion. I, I wasn't, I wasn't hyped. Or I wasn't super big on Fallout New Vegas because I thought the decision chain was a little fucked up. Like at least in Fallout Three, okay, you want to get X Y Z items, so you do blah blah blah, and it made sense. And Fallout New Vegas, there was just too many options, and I don't think they connected the dots well, and it kind of led up to some fucked up decisions that fucked up your whole gameplay. But I like Obsidian and what they can do. They just still got to prove to me that they're going to create a game in this type of world that is going to be connected properly. If they yeah. can do that, then I'll be excited. But the thing about our world is I think it's going to be a little bit more like Metro Exodus in the sense of like, it's not necessarily like a big open world RPG. Yeah, like, it will have yeah. some open world elements. It's going to be more or less linear based, but it'll have those choices like you said. So I hope they do those choices well. Yep. I totally agree. I just want to oh, interject God. one little thing here. Wait a minute, I'm still reading it. Um, they're saying, no, that maybe we were talking about the new switch with the longer battery life. Uh huh. They're saying, and it was just updated like 14 hours ago, I hadn't seen it until now. They're saying that the battery life can last up to nine hours. Oh, shit. I heard eight. And, yeah, that's good, man. And they're saying, uh, the people in North America can expect to see the new model from mid-August, whereas in Europe is coming in early September. Oh, wow. That's what's up. Hey, real quick, to, to Von Lamont's drunk ass in the chat. Hey, Von Lamont, if you don't put down that goddamn wild turkey, talking about Metro's ass, all Von Lamont want to play is Uncharted 3. <laughs> and what's that crash <laughs> simulator game, that, that, that game that's supposed to be like Crash or Lost? He kept telling everybody, oh, man, this is the game of the year. Check it out. Hey, Vaughn Lamar, sit your ass down. Metro is one of the best games this year, man. Metro yeah. Fire, man. Yeah, I'll finish, man. Hands down. Hands All right, down. one more quick thing before we go on ahead and get out of here. Did you get some rest? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brad Sams, if those don't know, he's you know he's a Microsoft guy, but he's, well, like, he's a uh, – but he works for, what is it, The Rock? Uh, Paul Therott, yeah. Paul and, 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 and Paul Therott, for background, he's a big-time insider with Microsoft, Brass. He's more of an insider with the Terry Myerson. Ooh, the big bad Terry Myerson. With the Terry Myerson crowd. And again, I'm sorry not to cut you off, Griggity, but just to give context to oh, it. Cool. There's, a, there, there's like two camps in Microsoft right now. 
Um, there's the can't mind it that that development, any type of development is cool, including gaming. And then there's the mindset that, you know, people that develop games are wasting their talents on, on some kid shit. Paul Thorat and Terry Myerson are from that ladder <laughs> tree. They don't they, they don't appreciate games all like that. Yet they brought in Brad Sams and Brad Sams covered games because it got to be covered because it's part of Microsoft. So just to, just to put context to who Paul Thorat is. Hey man, that's what I'm saying. I didn't even know. Hey man, you're a great guy, Moss. I mean, <laughs> you like, full of knowledge. Said, no, right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm serious. You, I mean, you full of knowledge. I didn't even know that shit. Uh, but look, he did a video. I think it was earlier today, which he said that. Uh, Xbox One Sad Edition at one point on Amazon, what do you call it? Amazon uh, Day or whatever. What, like, what was yeah, it? Prime yesterday? Day. Yeah. Prime mm -hmm. Day. It was outselling the PS4 and the Xbox. Um, I'm sorry, the, uh, the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch uh -huh. until it was sold out. Yep. Now, I didn't. This is not me saying this, y'all. Mm -hmm. Go to Brad no, Sam's he did channel. Say that. He said he it. Did, he said it. And so, mm -hmm. what I wanted to talk about before we get out of here. At that two hundred dollar price point, and mm -hmm. if the holiday season, if they're going to stay up under fifty bucks of whatever the Xbox One S with the uh, like the uh, disc drive in, if this sad edition is one hundred and fifty dollars around Christmas time, mm -hmm. do you guys believe this shit is going to sell like crazy, or is it yeah. just me? No, I, it's going to sell because the reason it wasn't selling when it first launched is because the price point was too high. People were interested, but they didn't want to pay. What was it, two fifty when it first? Yeah, that was too. Yeah, that was yeah. Too that's what I'm saying. People who are willing to go all digital and everything, they're not going to pay two hundred and fifty dollars for an all digital system. They would probably pay one fifty to two hundred. You see how it sold out at two hundred. Right. If they keep that price point low enough, yeah, yeah, it'll sell. Do you know at the end of the day, I think that a lot of people, I think maybe in our community, we take it for granted uh about Xbox how shitty their first party games are. But in the world, well not the world, <laughs> let me take that back. North America, I think there's still an interest in Xbox. Uh Ooh. oh. Uh oh, oh see, see they, they cut them off. They got, yeah. they got him. They got I'm sorry, him. mostly for multi plats, but I think there mm. still is an interest in Xbox. And I think if they make the Xbox One Sad Edition in the wrong holiday season, $150, say if the S is $200 and that shit $150, I'm sorry, y'all, but I should have sell. I mean, yeah, it, it depends though how aggressive Microsoft is willing to be at the 150 price mark. If we get that, that is a huge selling point, and people need to remember multiplats are king. So if you bundle that, let's say with a Minecraft, that costs next to nothing, right? That's a huge thing for people. Yeah, right. you bundle that with a new AAA game, um, something that's coming out the holiday, maybe that Star Wars game, and maybe something else. Do bundles like that, like put three games, 150 dollars, that will sell, will. But I cannot yeah. deny that I think the Switch is going to have to win this because of Pokemon alone. Like, oh, yeah. oh, no, no, everyone's no. I didn't say it was an outsell. I for Pokemon. Well, I didn't say it was an outsell. I didn't even joke about that. Switch. I didn't say it was an outsell of Switch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it's going to up, but no, but, no, Switch has it. But we don't even know what, because, okay, so this month we have Fire Emblem Anybody Warriors as our, as our um, game. Next month is Astral Chain. September is Link's Awakening. October's Luigi's Mansion. All these are first party games, except for Astral Chain, which is a third party exclusive. And then Pokemon in November. We don't even know what game, if we have an exclusive game in December that's coming out. Yeah, and if they uh, pair November up with a, a, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon is November, but if they pair up a Switch with something crazy for December, like Super Smash Brothers was last December. We don't know what's going to happen. Hey, uh, oh, speaking of that, you know how like Ron Nintendo uh, last year, I think they did a Mario Kart bundle, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what I remember seeing everywhere. Do you think they're going to do a uh, Smash Brothers pause bundle? They could because the Smash Brothers, you know, the Smash Brothers limited edition um, con system that they released last year was sold out before Smash Brothers came out. Mm hmm. Oh, and Von Lamont, just to be clear, the PS4, I wouldn't be surprised if it's about 200 bucks, and that thing's going to kill it. 
That, there's no doubt about that. That thing's going to kill it. Yeah, they did that on Black Friday with the Spider-Man edition. Yeah. yeah. So I expect them to do that again, you know, with Death Stranding or maybe Spider-Man again. Whatever game they need, mm-hmm. they'll have that in there, and that's yeah. going to kill it. Well, I'm on dehydrated, though, because he just said some crazy shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> think the Xbox, if they get to $150, they're not going to get killed this holiday like yeah, we would assume. But that's only if they get to $150. They always they sell good at, on holidays, too, though. Yeah, they do. They do. But if they stick to $200 in bundling games, uh, I don't know. I think they're going to come in third place then. Yeah. Yeah, well, we will um, see. We will so, see. Uh, I, I, well, let me get my two. Let me get my tinfoil hat. I'm gonna make this quick though. I'm gonna make it because I know Brigitte got to get to bed. He got to get to work. Here's the thing, man. Um, I will say that despite what Von Lamont is saying with his drunk ass in the chat, um, <laughs> even if PlayStation Four does do well, fantastic. Number one ain't to tell all be all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there is a number two. Coca Cola may be killing Pepsi globally. But Pepsi's doing fine last time I checked, right? You know what I'm saying? So just because PlayStation 4 may kill it don't mean that there's no room for Xbox. Right. Here's what Xbox has to do, though. They have to understand something called product placement, meaning what, what is our product? Who, who is it for? And there, what is our biggest attribute? And Xbox's biggest attribute right now without the AAA exclusives is what? Game Pass. Now, they can market Game Pass to the masses during the holiday season, but then they got to find out the product placement for Game Pass. What makes Game Pass lucrative to the masses? They're AAA games. I'm sorry. So even though you don't have the AAA bangers that you're producing, Microsoft, whatever AAA games that you got that are the freshest AAA games in Game Pass, including a Gears 5, you have to heavily market that shit. So if you get a Rage 2 or something that comes out in the vicinity that's close that people may have overlooked, you need to market that shit and say, look, you can get you can get the system that allows you to play Game Pass on console for $10 a month upgraded to Ultimate for only a dollar and get it with this Xbox piece of shit sad edition for $150, right? If they do that, the console we'll see some success, okay? But they got to understand their product placement with the console and with Game Pass, bundle it together and market the hell out of Gears 5 and whatever other AAA titles in there. Fuck all that Beeble Bop. Speaking of Gears, uh, I don't think this is confirmed at all. And I, honestly, I don't think it's happening. Uh, do you think there will be a Gears of War special edition? Now, obviously, there will be a bundle. Or do you I, think there's gonna be a special console at all? Uh, and, uh, they would have uh, announced it by I, I now. I think they would have announced it by now. Yeah. Right? But a God of War or Gears one. Yeah. They yeah. they they need to they really they need to. They dropped the ball with that, bro. They yeah, to, they really they really scrub. need to. Yeah, Gears they're, they're marketing. Game. They're marketing their 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 long-term marketing thing for Gears is all screwed up. This trailer, don't don't be don't think that they were planning for this trailer. I think they scrambled a major trailer and they happened to hit pay dirt. With that said. With all this Xbox One sad edition talk, here goes my ten full hat. I'm going to just leave it out here in the chat. I don't think that Xbox One sad sold well uh, legitimately. I think Xbox was buying them motherfuckers. Ain't no way in the world <laughs> that you have the Xbox One X that was $20 cheap. I mean, $20 more. That came with NBA 2K19, the, the most powerful console in the war, world, that did not place in the top 20, but the Xbox One sad did? Man, come on, man. Look up for a little Aaron Greensburg sold his Tesla. They all went out there, bro, and they start buying Xbox sads, man. <laughs> what, what, what was the big perk of having the Xbox One sad, man? Stop it, man. They, 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 I'll, 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 convince me. Show me the proof. You got to show me that beautiful bean footage, man. They bought them shits. Sorry. Uh, That's like with uh, my coworker today was asking me about the switch because she doesn't know anything about that. And she was like, I'm looking for a used switch. I was like, does it have to be used? You might as well buy a new one because a used <coughs> one is $280. Yeah, well, you and a new one, one is a new one, $300. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. I was like, yeah, you might as well just buy a new one. Come on, man. Yeah, but if you just care about the handheld functionality, she can buy the light for $200. Yeah, so that's what I told her. She was like, "Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go talk to whoever she was buying it for." But Who let's played? keep it cheeky, y'all. The Xbox One X was only twenty dollars more. 
You got the Xbox One sad. Yeah, that's and, fucked and, up. Come, hey, bro. You hey, try one X is only me. only twenty dollars more. It was only what, like two twenty or something. Oh no! What, 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 there was a uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, maybe I got my wires crossed because I'm thinking I thought the Xbox One said it was out there for like three fifteen. Yeah, no, there was one no, out but there it was for like three oh three. I yeah, did see that, but okay. it was a special bundle. But they had one that was for two for two hundred. Yeah, the one that was sold out was two hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. But there wasn't. But you're trying to tell me that there wasn't any other original Xboxes that were out there for around two hundred. I think Amazon. But even with that said. Okay, that could be legitimate. Well, no, 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 it ain't. Because it's an Xbox <laughs> One set is trash. The X, there was an Xbox One set out there that was in the three hundred dollar round. That was yeah, yeah, I think was. it came with some more stuff. It was like one of bundles with yeah, it, it came with some more yeah. stuff, and that was ranked number three. It was three oh three. Yeah, it was fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it was three oh three. The Xbox One X was like three twenty something, maybe three thirty, and it was placed nowhere. And the, that Xbox One said that was three hundred plus was number seventeen. Come on, man, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! It's a conspiracy. Get out of here. The fuck out of here, guy. <laughs> Speaking of it's Amazon, though, do you guys buy anything? You guys buy anything for Prime Day? Uh, man, my man, my wife bought some fucking chips, some some like some like bags of chips and shit. I was like, why the fuck would you order? <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, that's where society's to, at now, man. I was like, we can go to Kroger like and get some fucking chip. But they don't need the great shit. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. And they ain't came yet. So I'm like, sorry. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I didn't buy anything. I was gonna buy so, a computer to my wife's disdain. And I, if M y'all don't hear from MM2K, please let the police know that my wife killed me. Oh, but <laughs> I, I went over here. I went over to New Age. <laughs> And New Egg New actually Egg be has, having some awesome sales. They had better electronic deals than Amazon did. It's just the yeah. only thing with New Egg is that they charge you for well, no, they didn't charge me for shipping, but their tax was high to the motherfucker, man. Jeez. Oh, dude. see, when I ordered my Domin, you must live in the state that New Egg is in because no. when I ordered my Dominator, uh huh, um. I didn't have to pay any taxes. Oh, for real? Well, no, I think you're. I think for e purchases, you you're the state that you're in might be tax free. And I no, nah, when I lived in Maryland, we had a six percent sales tax. The mm -hmm. way um way it used to work, unless they've changed the law, if they had a distribution center in your state, that's uh -huh. the only way they could charge tax. I'm, I'm in Pennsylvania, and I think New Egg is in California. Yeah, unless they have a warehouse in Pennsylvania. Uh, I got you. That's a, that's do. the reason. That's the reason Amazon. Have you noticed Amazon started putting warehouses in almost every yeah. state? Yeah, that's everywhere. The, it's so yeah. many where I live at. <laughs> My daughter that's actually works reason. for Amazon. Yep, yep nope. that's the reason. So that they can charge legally because their distribution center is in that state. They can legally charge you for for the sales tax. Okay. Like I live in Delaware and I don't think we have an Amazon distribution center in Delaware because we're a tax free state. And Mr. Righteous Fish cutting up in the chat. He and said, Mr. Is a damn freak. He always <laughs> did. <laughs> He's a damn freak, man. <laughs> like, I feel like every year Amazon like the Prime Day gets hyped so much, but like I don't know. It's like not even as good as Black Friday deals to me, honestly. Yeah. There was a PC out there. I know this is way off subject, but there was a PC out there. It had a 2070 in it. It had an i7 in it. And I had put it in my wish list. I came back the second day on Prime Day. That motherfucker was gone. And it was only for a thousand dollars. I was like, damn. Oh Lord, you didn't yeah, man. I was hot. But I went to New Egg. I got one, I got one pretty much similar specs um for like a little bit, a little bit more than what it was on Amazon. So, but still, I know. Yeah, I hurt, wow. didn't it? That was a hurt piece. My wife yeah. is, my wife was really angry. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey man, what you be talking? About? You think your wife be whooping your ass, man? You be talking? Hey man, if you only, <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> hey man, you know what? I'm scared of my wife, man. My wife five feet. I'm six three. She be scaring the shit out of me, man. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to smoke a little mama. My wife. Grew up with nothing but brothers. And, oh, um, so she definitely tough dude. <laughs> so one day, and I, I'm not I'm not a small guy. Okay, you know I you in my heyday I used to work out, but all of it just. How tall was, are you, Moss? I'm six you. foot. 
Okay, okay. So it, it went from you know how the old football players were, you know, you 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 nice and stiff. Well, it, it ain't nothing. Most most of it ain't stiff anymore. All right, pause. So, <laughs> oh, I, hell my no. wife, you know, my wife was like, yeah, you know, t- I'm 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 gonna jack you up. I'm gonna jack you up. I'm like, man, get the get the. So I went to go push her. She didn't budge. I said, oh shit, I got angry. My wife power ball my ass, man. She's strong. She gave you Batista bomb. Like, she like gave Batista. she's the strongest woman I've ever met in my life. <laughs> she is strong as shit. So, you know, I really, I literally have to fight for my life up in this piece, man. Once she really like, it really soaks in how much money I spent on New Egg, I might not make it, y'all. <laughs> oh, Amen. Nah, well, you know, know what, Jay? You know what? She might just make it and, and leave you alone. But when you see that charge for that Louis Vuitton purse, yeah, that thousand yeah. dollar purse on your credit card, you best not say nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I oh, know. I can't. I can't now. No. Oh hell no. I'm man. I'm 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 behaving as much as I can, man. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, y'all funny. All right, y'all. It's about that time. Yep. It's about the time to go and get out of here, y'all. Yep. So um, Snow Bunny. Yeah, yes. You've been, you know, since the last time we've done this show, you've done some content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You, Everybody, you had a gaming channel showing all your Nintendo games or your 360 games. Nah, I don't have my 360 anymore. I, uh, but yeah, I did my whole video on showing my physical edition of my Switch collection, which everybody's still shocked is as long as it is. And um, I've been doing some crafting stuff on my channel also. All right. Sounds good to me. Ma still be doing this consistent content. I love the consistent content. You know, you, you were in like Nita's been doing more often. You know, yep. I wouldn't say it's consistent yet, but it's. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <not. laughs> it's getting there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 I got to do my 6 a.m. videos again. I, I've been slacking, but I've been slacking because I've been working on some things behind the scenes. Broadband bullies, PNTS. And now the Hard Knock Digital Culture. Hey, look, man, there's some big things coming. There's some giveaways that we're going to be doing, um, some some big stuff. And so I deeply apologize for the lack of content on uh, Hard Knock Digital Culture, my Twitch, my Twitch channel. People really appreciate like that Twitch channel. So it's twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000. I'm sorry, but next week we'll be up and popping new intro. We got, I ain't going to say nothing. We got a whole bunch of new stuff coming. So stay tuned. Sounds good. He's a Suge Knight. <laughs> oh, shit. Here's Donald Monta said J-Dubs made Shady leave Xbox Nation. What happened on Xbox Nation, Dirt? Weren't you on there? Yeah, it was dope. No, uh, like, no, I mean, like, um, Shady just had, like, some type of job opportunity where he couldn't do the show no more. But, yeah, it, it, might, it might have fun on there. It was actually pretty fun, man. They didn't, you know. Uh, wait, wait, actually, Shady on there? Nah, not tonight. You know, he left. So, oh, okay. it was me, me and J-Dub was the guest on there. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I had mean, it was it was fun. I had a blast, man. Um, Moose was trying to get on. He was he was asking me why the hell I'm still asking about this guy, pretty much. <laughs> but man, it was bro, cool, has man. not seen your thousand videos on the subject. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I got one in the can. I got for tomorrow. I'm crying again about uh, <laughs> you know, it's another like seven minute video of me crying about all the all the guys leaving this about. But I like the video, so I'm gonna put it up there anyway. But, yeah, uh, but yeah, you're man. having fun with those joke videos. Yeah, yeah. You, know, I, you know, I just be trying. I just be talking, just talking. Uh, well, I will say this: <laughs> at least when you know you see another Xbox brethren, will say uh, praise the PS4 game, or whatever. You don't get emotional. I've seen some people get emotional on Twitter about this shit, namely yeah. a Spider Man. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's really weird. I, I generally think that's really weird if you get emotional over that. Yeah. 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 Half the things I'm, that's happening in the video game world, I'm shocked is happening, and I'm sitting yeah. here like, "What?" You know, I don't get emotional, but you know, but I will say this: was I, I will miss it in my video tomorrow. If you guys uh, <laughs> take it out tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I don't, I don't understand this part though. You getting a PS4? You know, cool. I've had one since the beginning of the generation. It's cool, but I don't get. Uh, I know you saw someone put on Twitter today. Spider Man is great. It's better than every other Xbox exclusive of this generation. Spider Man is good, but why throw Xbox under the bus? At the same time, no one told you not to get a PS4. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, I, that's the one. I, that's the. I don't want to get messy on your channel. I have my reservations if that's authentic, because. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have people that just refused to even enjoy anything PlayStation 4. Yes, like, yes, hey. yes. And to do it a complete about, look, I can give praise to some of the marketing and some of the business aspects that Sony has given into. But my stance has always been the same, y'all. I don't like PlayStation shit. I just right, don't like you it. you always said it. <laughs> I've always said it. I don't give a fuck if people like it or not. I don't like it. I've just, at the same time, I can be critical of my console of choice. I like God of War. I'll give, but for you to do a complete about face like that, I don't know what's going on, man. It's just strange fruit out here. Just be, just be careful, y'all. For y'all fall into these these rabbit holes with these people, man. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's. I just don't get, bro. Like, okay, listen, man. Like, if you genuinely feel that way, that's absolutely fine. Mm. I just don't understand the two weeks. Like last week. Yeah, man. I don't know, bro. Like just, these guys went a whole generation. Exactly. Yeah, fuck PlayStation. I don't want. I don't need a PlayStation. Now, okay, I know Xbox games are shit. You ain't got to tell me. But if you're a gamer, now if it's a financial thing, okay, I understand. But if you're a gamer, just I mean, I don't get it. Then all of a sudden, this game is better than every other Xbox exclusive. Yeah, it is. Okay, God of War is too. You should play that next. But I don't understand the throwing Xbox up under the bus. Yeah, oh. just because you got a PS4, I mean, you gotta you gotta test people's uh, uh, integrity. I hate to, uh, uh, you were if you're doing all this capping for Xbox, and I'm not saying whether it was legitimate or not, and you're going in all these tirades and you're going against people in chats and you're saying all this pro Xbox negative PlayStation shit stuff, and you basically all you do is buy a game or two and you completely change your whole perspective. I mean. I'm not saying, look, PlayStation did their thing for their brass. I'm going to give yeah. them that. But it's a good console, man. The games, this generation alone, nothing against PlayStation. I'm just saying this whole gen weren't that stellar to where you thought radically one way and then you pivot to the automatic other regions of the netherworld in, in, in a split second. Mm -hmm. Something just don't add up there. So I'm just telling everybody, be where even if, and even if they are capping for your preferred console, even if they are capping for PlayStation 4, don't just welcome them in because you're going to be welcoming them in, giving them support. And as soon as the task shifts somewhere else, they think it's lucrative somewhere else. They, they gone, gone, man. They, they gone. gone, man. They gone, yeah. Don't yeah, exactly. right. shit, man. Don't, don't fall for that. MM2K going to keep it real. Griggity going to keep We're going to keep it real about what our choices are regardless of what everybody say. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. just watch out for that, man. Like... I always say, like, before we get out of here, y'all, because I need to get out of here. Like, uh, <laughs> like I say, every video I do, every time we do this damn show, Xbox has been dog shit this generation, right? But, like Neff, like, like Neff said one time, it's our dog shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog shit. I still love it. Okay? And, and, and I'm going to rock out with it, man. I mean, it, it's, it can't be a monopoly of ponies in this community, man. If that's if that's what y'all want, I mean, I don't know what to say. If y'all wanted their monopoly, the pony guys with two damn Xbox guys and shit, whatever, man. But listen, I don't know, man. Let me get the hell out of here. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm <laughs> yeah. sleepy right now. I'm talking. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, Nitos, you doing any other videos coming up, buddy? Uh, you know, I gotta search for a video topic, but I don't know, Moss. Like, my last video topic was a little explosive because we're still going back and forth about that shit. Which that shit one? won't end about that censorship, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, man. Uh, but, oh, Nethos, I need to get you on Hard Knock Digital Culture. We can talk about that there. I, I forgot about that. You're gonna be my premier, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be my first guest on there, man. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna, hey. we'll talk about that shit there, man. Hey, um... K Thrash, what you what you like? What are you referring to? That video I did about only Xbox because I don't know. <laughs> never, if you watch my video, I never left PlayStation because of Xbox games. Really, yeah. I enjoy Halo, but man, I love Dirt, Dirt's video inspired one of my more recent videos. I can't remember which one it was, but that nostalgia that the original Xbox hit you with, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it just it made you like it made you feel like you was like in a stratosphere somewhere. You know, you know how like uh, uh Charlie Murphy was like, man, when I first met Rick James, man, this motherfucker had an aura to him. You know, <laughs> you know that aura. Yeah, <laughs> Xbox, Murphy. 
The original Xbox had an aura to it. It made it you feel did, like the outer worlds and shit floating, man. I love it, hey, man. That was that was a good ass video, Dirt. Yeah, I, know, I, I appreciate know. it. Because, uh, yeah, but this is like I said, it's in my video. I was a PlayStation dude, right? Yeah, now yeah. I never left PlayStation. It says yeah. I made Xbox my oh, main, yeah. my preferred console. Yeah. Some yeah. of these guys, that's a, see, that's the issue I'm having. Okay, you with Xbox, you play one damn game now. Yeah. It's, it's over. Come on, man. That's something won't seem right. But anyway, all right, let me get the fuck out of here, man. Right <laughs> Thanks, y'all, for joining us. Peace out, chat. Peace and love. Appreciate it. Bye.